Hey guys, Vincent is back. I got a new microphone over the weekend, so you should hear the sound quality improve. And this is the fourth and final episode of Let's Blend a Shield. Now this won't be the last Let's Blend ever. Uh, this is just the Shield one. I've got some ideas for more series, but I won't spoil them just yet. Anyway, this episode will show you a new program called Crazy Bump. We'll be using this to generate a normal and specular map for our shield. This adds that last magic touch to our model. We will apply them to the shield and get to see the effect it has, too. For this to work, though, you will need to have saved the texture from last episode as a file. Now, I know I said you could pack it in the Blender file, but to import it into Crazy Bump, it obviously needs to be a separate image file. So let's open Crazy Bump and get started with processing our textures. Okay, so this is Crazy Bump. You are going to want to choose Open Photograph from File and choose the texture we made last episode. That was, uh, for me, shield.png. And it's loading. Now it'll give you two options, and you have to choose uh, which height map looks correct for your model. The one on the left looks right, doesn't it? The one on the right is obviously inverted. We click that one, and bam, a normal map. So, that controls which parts are higher and lower to give a 3D effect, and this is a specular map which will control which parts reflect more light than others. Uh, so that just adds a bit more detail to it, and obviously if you're going to have a metal part, that will reflect more light than a dull part. And you can change some of the sliders, so you can enhance the finer detail on the normal maps. Uh, which is what we'll want to do because we're trying to get that fine wood grain uh, texture in the normal map. Um, for the very large detail we don't need much that would only be if you're, if you're missing out really big shapes in the high poly version but we've got um, the good shape for our shield so we only need to enhance the finer detail and save. By default it'll add underscore dot nrm to normal maps. That's fine for us. You can change the file name in conventions in the options section and dot spec sorry underscore spec for the specular maps. I will close this and apply them to our model in Blender. Okay, I'm just going to click on shield to open it. I'm assuming uh, you at least know the basics of Blender, I'm hoping, because these videos were made for that crowd, not just uh, anyone, I'm sorry to say. But you do need some basic knowledge of uh, 3D graphics to uh, follow these videos along. Anyway, this is the uh, texture we made last episode, and you can see the the wood grain, and that's the what the normal map is gonna highlight and make it look like a 3D surface rather than just a flat one. Now, if you haven't saved it, you wanna go on image save as I've already done it. I'll just hit F3. And obviously you need to do that before you open Crazy Bump. That was just a little reminder. So, I'm going to go in back into 3D view. Um, click on our shield and start adding more textures new image or movie open and choose the normal map we made in crazy bump uh, 
and it'll appear in the preview. Um. Okay. Now we need to tell Blender it's a normal map. So go into image sampling and hit normal map. Uh, using our UV coordinates that we unwrapped it by um, two episodes ago. Untick, um, well we don't want it to influence the colour, we want to influence the ge geometry of the model. So we're going to hit geometry, normals, and we'll just leave it at the normal strength. There we go. Uh, take that. Now, um, I'm going to add our specular map, which controls uh, how reflective certain parts of the model are. So we're going to hit image or movie, open, and shield underscore spec. Um, UV coordinates not generated that's a totally different thing altogether that's if you haven't unwrapped your model um, and this time we're gonna click influence on the specularity intensity One thing I forgot on the normal map, and that is we need to hit RGB to intensity. Um, because basically, it's not a black and white image like our specular map is. So we need to, the colour's already set, which is it makes it easier for us. So just hit that. Add a lamp so we can see it. Alt G to move it to the centre. And we'll just drag it above. Now, are you ready to see it? Bam! Probably can't see it from here. There, that's better. As you can see, not very good. I'll maybe make a closer render. But certain parts are highlighted. Um. Yeah, we're going to add a point lamp this time, and that will just make it easier for you to see the effects of the normal map, because the Hemi will light all the areas equally, whereas a point lamp will make certain parts brighter, therefore it will be easier to see the effects of the specular and normal map. we we'll just get it a bit closer. Because in the game, you're not going to really see the effects from that distance anyway. So we're just going to move it closer, you could see it. That's a bit better. And we'll flip it round. And there's the back. Now I might do um, a render just over the top. So you can really see the detail. So it is small detail because we did enhance the finer detail in Crazy Bump. That's what we wanted. So just going to turn off the rotation on the camera so it's pointing straight down. Alt G and move it up. And that's a good size. Gonna render it. And there. Wow, look at that. That is good. That's a lot better than what we had before. No longer is it a flat surface. The it's been highlighted, you can see lower and higher parts, etc. We'll flip it round. 
This is the final look we're getting at it. Just wait for it to render. Wow. Look what we've made, guys. So this is the final episode of Let's Blend a Shield. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the series. Um, I'm going to do something different now for a change. Um, but I will get back to Let's Blend eventually. Um, so yeah, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, I might give a link to the download of uh, the blend file. And um, yeah, see you later.